What's going on, YouTube? This is what Josh do, and I have sort of a problem here. I guess you could call it a first world problem. I don't know what's in what. <laughs> um, this one came yesterday. I was waiting on the stand for my Shield TV Pro to come, and so I was waiting on the video, and then these two things came today. Now, I think this is my Chromebook that I'm going to do a separate video on because it says danger, like, Light, lithium ion battery uh, so I don't I'm gonna open that last because probably the stand is in here uh, as well as some other stuff that I ordered so this is this might be a little bit of a longer video but it's not gonna be as in-depth as my original video because this is the pro and I don't think there's gonna be much of a difference so let's find out let's open this thing up and see what's in here let's grab our little knife here and cut this sucker open and Let's unbox some stuff, man. This is exciting. I love this. It's like Christmas. Seeing three boxes and some other stuff packed all together and top. And the UPS guy comes or the FedEx guy comes and <laughs> his hands are so full. <laughs> you get to take everything from him at once or separate times. Oh, this is the Shield Pro. This is exciting. This is awesome. Okay. So that's that. All right. So the stand is not in that box. Because this is going to be the stand too. Well, that weighs quite a bit. I'm pretty sure that weighs more than the shield that we got. And I actually have it sitting right here next to me. Me and a few other YouTubers did an Android giveaway where we each contributed a prize. My prize was this shield TV. And Edward D, we announced who won on Twitter. So if you're not following me on Twitter, you don't know who won this until you're seeing this video. But... Edward D won this. I gotta send it out to him Monday. Gonna do a quick little comparison to see if it looks any different on the outside. And then it's gonna go back in this box right here. Which I have left all of the accessories in there. I just gotta put the power brick in there. And I left that controller in there because I have my controller. And as if you notice, the old controller from the Shield tablet has like this, this home button. And on this one, it's a circle. So I've left everything in here that I didn't need in there for when I ship this thing off to a Monday. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. Let's cut this or grab this tape and just take it off. Uh, oh, also, I meant to notice this. The white, the box is white here, and it says 16 gigs, and this box is black. So that's the only difference I noticed right away. Let's go ahead and cut this right here. I have ooh, I've been wanting to open this so bad. 500 gigs, I can install whatever the heck I want to install. And I just redeemed my code this morning where I got 30 gigs of Google Play credit. I bought Get Hard HD unrated version from Google Play. And I bought another movie too because I already had some play credit before that. So I'm going to be able to watch those on here with the Play Store. So this is just like the other one except this one says 500 gigs. The other one is 16. So... This is very exciting, very, very exciting. 500 gigs, like seriously, that's crazy. You could store all the games you've ever wanted to store on there. Now, I don't think there's any difference. One thing I'm very curious about is if the hard drive in here is replaceable. I've got this Kingston SSD that's been gathering dust because I don't really have anything to put it in at the moment. Everything I have already has an SSD in it and I would like to see if I could put that in there somehow. I'm pretty sure I'd be voiding the warranty, but I don't know. I'm still going to probably try it someday just because I want to see if that's possible. I want to see if there's any weight difference between the Pro and the Normal. So there's the Normal. There's the Pro. Oh, there's there's a tad bit of weight. I, would, I wouldn't say a whole pound, but it there is definitely a difference. You can pick them up and go, okay... That's the 16 gig, that's the 500 gig. It weighs just a little bit more. It's barely noticeable. So I gotta make sure I don't get these mixed up. <laughs> uh, the 500 gig is the one I'm keeping because I'm a nerd and 500 gigs is a buttload of space, a store, asphalt, need for speed. So there's no changes on the outside of the units here at all. They look exactly identical. You wouldn't know which one you're holding in your hand except for the slight difference in weight. I don't think they're any thicker or different. So 
<laughs> I'm going to get these mixed up and end up sending him the 500 gig version. Oh, man. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what else is in the box. Now, this one is mine, so I can take this controller out and play with this controller. And the really cool thing is, is I bought this one for my Shield tablet, and now I can use both of these. Like, I can play two-player games with my daughter or my wife, so that's really cool. They do include an HDMI cable, so that's awesome that you don't have to go purchase one. And the micro USB cable. This is for plugging it into that USB 3.0 port and then charging the controller up. So, yeah, you don't actually charge this with that. You just charge the controller and also the remote here that's from NVIDIA. This was a separate purchase. I did a video on this already. So, and here we have the power adapter. This is something I'm going to need to keep. I don't know if there's going to be any difference at all in the rating and amps and stuff. You can go ahead and check that out for yourself. I don't know if it's going to need any extra power for the hard drive that it's going to have in here. 19 volts at 2.1 amps. I'm pretty sure it's the same as what was in the other one. So let's go ahead and peel. This is awesome. This one's mine. This one's official. I can open up all these accessories and I don't have to... I've tried to keep the other one neat and compact so it looks brand spanking new when he gets it. Uh... I'll, this control, I'll grab this new controller, why not? All right, now I'm honestly, I know what some of you are gonna be thinking, 500 gigs, you might have some slowness because 16 gigs of flash storage is always gonna be way faster than a 500 gig hard drive. I don't know if it's going to have like some internal storage and then 500 gigs or if Android and all the system apps and everything's gonna boot right from that hard drive. I've not done a review of the Shield TV yet, so please expect that. I'm going to play with this and see if there's any difference in how games load and etc. Also, NVIDIA recommends if you get the 16 gig version, if you have a 64 gig card or 128 gig card, make sure it's class 10. This is actually a really fast one by Kingston. These generally run you about $100 for 64 gigs because they're extremely fast. But NVIDIA recommends you format it NTFS with a 64 KB uh, so like when you're doing the default allocation size, they want you to do 64 KB and you get some faster read and writes. So apps will load from there faster. So if you're looking to save $100, I would definitely get the 16 gig version because you can throw 64 gigs or 120 gigs in there. And Lon Seidman, he posted a video on the Nexus player. And with the Android M developer preview, you're actually able to take these high speed flash drives like we'll use this one for example and plug it in and then store the apps and games on there like your data so uh, it's going to be a lot of expendability and stuff so if you get the 16 gig version don't sweat it don't sweat it at all now i do want to check out the stand again this is the remote we're going to be pairing it with that and playing with this 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 is a very light awesome thin remote i love it it's like you're not holding anything in your hands at all and then you can, again, tell the difference between the old controller and the new one by the home button there. I don't see any other refreshes or redesigns there. All right, so I, there's other stuff in this besides just the stand, but I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it here. Because a lot of you on Instagram are curious of what was in here, so whatever, I'll just include it all in this video. All right, so here's the stand. I'm going to go ahead and take out my other stuff. This is... Uh, the gold wireless headset. My wife actually plays Destiny with me. So we recently bought one from Walmart. Amazon had it for $67 and I price matched it at Walmart. And the only bad thing is, is they made me pay taxes, which was like nine point something percent. So I literally saved $8 by not paying taxes on Amazon in Missouri. So I bought the second one on Amazon in Missouri to save a little bit of money. And Amazon also has really cheap batteries. These are some AAA basics so i uh, don't have to worry about running out of triple a batteries for those of you that are curious all right so yeah we both play destiny we raid and stuff so i wanted to get two headsets so we both have a headset all right here's the stand let's go ahead and open this thing up and check it out the new raid comes out for destiny in september and i can't wait to get my hands dirty and you know, get frustrated and try to figure the mechanics of that out. I play Destiny on the Xbox One and the PS4 because I have no life outside of YouTube. <laughs> when my daughter's at school or or something, I when I have free time, I, if I'm not making a video, I'm probably playing Destiny. All right, so here's the stand. 
Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm tearing the box up, but you don't, I really don't care. All right, here's the stand. Wow, that sucker has a bit of weight to it. Did you hear that? That sucker was like, oh, uh, please peel off before using. Ooh, it's like sticky. That's not going anywhere. That sucker is down. Oh, it's actually tape. Crap. <laughs> it's actually tape. Like, it's, wow. Okay, well, guess it's staying there for now. <laughs> Uh, nothing else in here I can think of. Alright. So let's take the Shield Pro. Let's stick it in there. And now we have a little stand. That's pretty cool. That's awesome, actually. I wonder if it goes in different... Nope. You can tell which way it goes. It will not go in that way. It only goes in this way. And once it's in there, it's in there good. So that's cool. You can stand it up and allow it to have a little more ventilation. I need to stop sticking this down different places because it's sticky and all it'll end up getting dirty and not be so sticky but yeah once you take that off it is sticky like <laughs> it's not gonna move wherever you place that so if you put it on your entertainment center it's gonna stay there and it's not gonna move that's pretty awesome because this thing does have a fan and it ventilates through here and the exhaust is right here it gets warm but i've never had it get really hot even when playing grid games and stuff like nvidia's grid streaming service or whatever that's gonna be paid right now it's free but it's pretty cool. You, I mean, I play Grid and uh, Borderlands and some other games on there. And this thing just handles it absolutely flawlessly. So there you go. There was the stand unboxing and showing you that. I mean, I don't know. If you have 30 extra dollars, it'll complete your NVIDIA Shield TV accessory kit for now. So it's not, <laughs> it's not mandatory, but it looks cool. And it'll keep it standing up and it's going to stick to wherever you put it on. So it's not going to move around, fall over very easily. It's pretty awesome. I'm definitely excited. And I'll probably use it just to give it some extra ventilation versus laying it flat like that and giving it just a little bit of room for air to flow in there. When you have it like that, you're going to have a buttload of air flowing in there. So yeah, that was about it for this video. Uh, right after this one, I'm going to start recording my Chromebook unboxing. And I'm going to put both of these on YouTube and hopefully they'll be up today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. I'm a giant nerd when it comes to tech. I absolutely freaking love it. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll have a link to my social media accounts in the description below, as well as a link to purchase the all the stuff that you're seeing. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.